U.S. Water Rockets MSP430 Launch Pad Electronics Tutorial Ruggedizing your MSP430 launch pad for harsh environments In 2011, U.S. Water Rockets developed an MSP430 launch pad based project known as Servocron which is a servo motor controlled parachute release application for use in model rocketry. Three, two, one. We launched numerous test flights to validate the Servocron design. Not all of them were successful. After recovering the wreckage, a post mortem analysis was conducted so we could correct any faults in the design. Our first suspicion was that the battery had died, but the power LED on the MSC430 launch pad was still illuminated. Inspection of the servo motor revealed that it was still in the initial position. Upon closer inspection, we noticed that some of the jumpers were missing, notably the jumper bringing power to the microcontroller. We postulated that the jumpers had worked loose over the course of the day's test launches and finally fell out during the last launch, causing the failure. A quick check of the pre-launch photograph confirmed our suspicion. We determined a simple solution to prevent this from happening again would be to ruggedize the MSP430 launch pad. Begin the procedure by removing the male headers from J1 and J2 on the MSP430 launch pad board. Our tutorial describing how to exchange the male headers for female ones for use in breadboarding explains how to do this in detail. Use the same technique to remove the male headers from J3, J5, and J6. Now you can begin to replace the removed jumpers with short pieces of bus wire bent into and inserted into the previous jumper positions. Instead of bus wire, you can also use leads trimmed from resistors or other components you may have around the shop. Now you can solder your jumper replacements in place and clip off the excess wire. If your application does not use the factory MSP430 launchpad jumper configuration, Make sure that you only populate the bus wires as your design needs. The MSC430 launch pad is now ruggedized and ready for whatever abuse you can throw at it. Always remember that it's easier to beef up your launch pad just in case rather than to replace an expensive project. Don't let this happen to you. For more rocketry and MSC430 launch pad related projects, software, demonstrations, and tutorials, please visit uswaterrockets.com. Thanks for watching.